Um, a few weeks ago we were showing these guys how when I get my grip at the back of the collar and on the belt, I go to knee on belly and Connor's constantly bumping to try to get me off it. Rather than losing the position, I was dropping back into side control. Opening up his lapel. Bringing my elbow to the far side, filling that space. And then bringing my knee under his head. So now if he bumps his hips, a lot more control of him. And then we were showing you how to hit the triangle from here. Whereby the windshield wiper my foot in. I step over, and bring Carl towards me, and I lock my triangle. Okay. Um, I like I prefer to do the triangle from mountain, so I'm not waiting for him to get to his knees. So as I come up, I'm shelving this, locking my triangle, and then I can finish from there. Okay. So um, the last few weeks of our measure cycle knee and belly. We're going to do it from tying up the arm. Okay, so it's not time we were coming under, this time we're coming over. I like this control the best because it's one arm tied up and then you can start to use your attacks. So, so from my position, I have the grip, the valve, the collar that we've done all along. Come to my knee on body position. I keep my other knee on the mat here. And I put heavy cross face on Connors and he's looking away from me as my head goes to the mat. He's probably still going to be making frames. So this frame will be at my hip. I just want to be across. I bring my head towards the mat. Okay. Open up his lapel. Pass the lapel over the top of the arm. From my right hand to my left arm. I need to make sure the detail is I come across the collarbone, not across his arm, because he'll escape it by punching his arm free and then he's out of the way. can switch scars. If you make the mistake of going across the arm and he punches his arm through, or punches out straight, I can switch to, to my um, Ezekiel choke. Yeah. But we'd much rather hit the triangle. So when I bring this across, I'm coming over the shoulder here. Okay. So, because his arms are framed, there's a clear path with my left knee to his head, and I just mount and get my knee under this armpit like this. Again, Carl will be bumping his hips or whatever I'm posting with my hand. I'm going to use this lever okay, to turn Carl onto the side. Let's see, get my leg up around. Okay. Now I grab my wrist, now this knee is shelving. Remember we talked about when we were finishing from the mountain triangle, I don't want to finish in parallel with him. I'm turning perpendicular, shelving this with my thigh. So when I post, I lock my triangle, and I can sit up, head on the mat. So, yeah, I have the grip. On the back of the lapel, grab the belt. Yeah, so heavy pressure, guys, with this cross face. As I put my knee in his belly, my head is coming across. I'm not playing this type of knee on belly because I want to put a lot of pressure on it. So this knee stays in the mat, but it doesn't come inside like the last move. I want it to the outside because I want a clear path of getting my knee to this ear. This is the arm I'm going to tie up. And this is the arm that's going to be inside the triangle. Okay. So, from here, heavy cross face, pressure, tie the arm up, bring it across his collarbone, and give me grip. So, clear path with my left knee going towards his ear. All I'm going to do is mount. Okay. Once I get my knee under his armpit, I can post my hand, my base. Okay. Now I'm going to use this to turn, or lift the car's head. Already this knee is sliding up. So when I step over, okay, I let go of the lapel and I grab my shin. Okay. Now I push my hand on the mat. My knee's still moving forward, but I don't finish the mountain triangle um, um, straight with them or parallel with them. I cut an angle. Okay. Lean forward. So as I post, I hook the back of my foot. I 
back of the knee, so it's L shaped. From here, head goes in the mouth, grab the back of the head. If I can't finish from here, I can grab his wrist, thumb out. Um, we can also finish just as we move across the track. Close face, grip on the valve, knee on the belly, pressure, and knees on the mat. This one, putting a lot of pressure on the bar. Open up the hole. Making sure that this comes across the arm here. So from here, just the mount. This is a massive lever to um, create space in the back of his head. It's a free space for my knee to come up. And once I get into my S mount orientation, my left hand lets go, my right grabs. Okay. Posting with my heart. Let's say I haven't quite got the angle or I'm up against someone with massive shoulders. People of different body sizes, it's hard to finish the triangle from the mount. A windshield wiper. My foot underneath, my left hand grabs the back of his neck as a roll. Now I can finish a lock the triangle. Show his posture. Left hand comes into the armpit. And I leg press the leg curl. So I'm doing this. 